Oh, JD here, two of us. And as you can see, we are back on F1 2021. And this time we are at Australia, which is a track I think is very much underrated. And I think this is actually one of my best tracks on the game for me personally. So as usual, starting last, on the alternate strategy this is on playstation once again and this race here is a pretty epic one <laughs> to be honest it's a very very good comeback and a small slice of karma as you can read in the video title which we will be getting to as this race concludes but so far just letting the carnage unfold as usual and yeah you're about to see a lot of carnage here so just making the most of it trying to spot the gaps as much as you can as this has not sure what on earth is happening there and yeah we're up into p16 so four positions gained make that five positions now we're behind rpm ky kfc which is probably his fast <laughs> favorite fast food place to Eat out, I'm presuming, but yeah, this track really do enjoy because tire wear and tire temperatures so easy to lose the car as well. And in this lobby, we have a group of some very fast drivers, so quite good competition to go against. And as we're coming through at the end of lap one, let's see what we can do here. Love this penultimate corner. Really, really satisfying when we do get it right, but you can see the chronic understeer we get with that little bit of the dirty air, and we complete that one. So, as usual, we will be showcasing the entire race as well as this Ferrari does his best Ferrari impression. Now up into P14, and as we're coming to here now, going to turn three, managing to navigate that uh, quite nicely setup i'm using is exactly the same setup as i did use as the mclaren has basically repeated what the ferrari did now we're up into p13 behind rd marina if i can say that correctly if i can see it properly on my screen that would certainly help to get a good exit coming onto here now and just trying to conserve the battery as much as we can at this stage of the race here as well as someone else has got off so everyone is just falling like dominoes really <laughs> at this point of the race itself now that means we're up into p12 you can see by the minimap the leaders aren't too far away but i think quite a few people have started on the soft tire as well and i would actually say that australia is one of the most OP tracks when it comes to the alternate strategy which you will be seeing so this guy goes slightly deep the red ball so we're going to try and take a little bit of advantage of this go go around the outside of him trying to get a bit of a slipstream from the car up ahead and go around the outside red ball being very generous going into there so fair play to him He's trying to get a good exit of this corner trying to get into this uh, top 10 now and we actually have some medium runners uh, up ahead of us. So trying to get a good exit up here using a bit of the ERS. But this is probably not a corner that you want to be making an overtake. So got to be a player a bit more patient going a bit deep into here. You can see it's sacrificing here using the ERS once again. So really just trying to force them into mistake rather than actually making the overtake here he goes a bit defensive so we're going to try and get a switch we're trying to get a good exit as we do get a very good exit got the boost of the drs and ers as well so i think about going around the outside here deciding to think a bit better of it so good racing here so far as now we're coming into the penultimate corner no real room to overtake going through into here as we are trying to get as much apex speed as possible using the ERS on the exit as hamburger <laughs> sets the fastest lap of the race coming through into here let's see if we could get a good launch making sure you use this curb 
on the exit. We get a very, very good exit. So we're going to pretty much do identical what we did last time. And we're going to go around the outside. So it cuts the corner quite a bit going through into there. Try and go down the inside here. So leaving some room. So fair play so far. Leaving some room on the inside as well. He makes a bit of contact to me. The Ferrari, another Ferrari spinning. And I think we got about three cars and one there. And I did my best to leave room. But, well, I did leave room. And everyone just kind of piled into each other. So now we're up into no man's land. And we have Spanius again and Energy Zeus, who was also in my previous video, which this was actually all taken on the same day, I think a couple of weeks ago. So I've got to see what kind of pace I have now. The gap is 3.9 seconds to Spanius as the hamburger looks like he's made a bit of a mistake and further continues that mistake. So now we're up into P7 and the gap is about 4.3 to Zeus and 3.9 to GFO up ahead who I would say are the two fastest drivers in this lobby um, as well other than myself and maybe a couple of others. So coming across time, we do a 25.4. Let's see what we can do now as we get some uh, clear air. And just to let you know that prior to the ending of F1 2021, I'm actually planning to attempt to do a full season of my team. So if you are interested in that and that's something you would actually like to see, I'm planning to release actually an episode almost every single day from next week until the end of the game. So if you'd actually like to see that, then please uh, comment down below if you've got this far into the video. I'm just doing hashtag my team. That would just let me know people would actually like to see it. So yeah, I've never really done career mode because I've never really been a fan against or like, racing against the AI. Uh, but I thought, why not? coming towards the end of this game um, I'm actually away for quite a bit of June so I won't really be doing that much league racing from this weekend onwards so I thought why not actually just try it and see if I enjoy it and yeah, that's the main thing if I enjoy it I will continue but yeah just let me know if that's something you would actually like to see as Spanius has now come into the pits what do we do here so we do set the fastest up of the race so confirming we do have the speed in the car but Spanius has gone for a fairly big undercut so it'll be interesting to see where he will be at the end of this race but I definitely think having fresher tyres around here is a huge huge advantage and he's got to do nine laps on these tyres as well which is actually quite a big distance for the soft tyres here so you really want to try and go as far as you can because whatever you lose on the undercut you should really be looking to actually make that up in terms of lap time coming towards the end of the race so it all depends on how good you are on your tyres but you can see almost losing the car here and we have cut that gap down to Zeus by around 6 to 7 temps and you can see this is the corner where if I started turning while I was on that curb there, then I would have been straight into the wall. So it's really important to straighten out the steering soon as you hit that curb. And you can see we're gaining ever so slightly. So let's see if anyone else decides to pit at the end of this lap. As we're coming through here now, looks like Zeus has decided to stay out as well as we do a 24.4. So just confirming what our pace is like when we're not really pushing uh, with the ERS and let's see how much time we can actually uh, close in on the rest of uh, this app but yeah Australia this is probably the last time we are going to be racing on this layout as well and this is a layout I've always thoroughly um, enjoyed I think it's very demanding very punishing really requires you to keep on top of your tyres as well which seems to be tracks where you have to actually manage your tyres is where I come out my strongest because I feel that's probably one of my strengths is actually just managing the car itself rather than pushing flat out all the time and 
the DP going to the race around here, the more you certainly have to do that. As you can see on this app alone, we've actually gained, I'd say about almost seven tenths on Energy Zeus here. Uh, Speed Alcoholic unfortunately has left the session itself and you can see we're just gaining so much time here now. So one of these guys is going to pit. So it looks like Olav has pitted Zeus has continued to stay out. Don Rabico has pitted as well. So Zeus and Majzo, if I can say that right, has stayed out. So the gap is 2.5 seconds. Let's see what's going to be here. And I'm pushing quite hard to that because I think I will probably be boxing uh, potentially here. It depends how quickly I actually close in, which will give me a good indication of how much raw speed I feel I have a bit more uh, than Zeus himself as the guy in P2 does have a, a three second time penalty so we don't really have to worry about him uh, so much as play Tendo so that's the fast up of the race so you can see Spanius on the top left hand side of the screen is in P6 now gap is 17 Point one seconds, so we will be using that as a bit of a reference to see how much time uh, he is gaining. But at the moment, he's not really gaining that much time at all. And you can see we've gained quite a bit more time again. So about, I'd say, another seven temps on this app alone that we are gaining on Zeus. And you can see we're actually extending the gap, if anything, to uh, Spanish. So the pace on the mediums is incredibly strong right now as... I think both these guys uh, pitted as someone, I'm not sure what happened there. So DRS Neil was the guy in the lead of this race. So I've decided to do usual where we stay out. So I felt the pace was good. And even one that fresh tires around here, I can promise you, and you will be seeing, is a, a pretty significant advantage. So you can see Spanish has gained a bit of time going through that last sector so this is the point where he will be gaining the time but I am going to be having about three to four lap fresher tyres uh, than him and he's got Don Rabico ahead of him who's on the mediums who should be holding him up ever so slightly so you can see we've told Jeff that we are going to come into the pits at the end of this lap and this is the time to push as much as we can. So giving it absolutely everything for the chicane. Taking that very nicely. And just got to make sure we get through this last sector quite smoothly. And you can see we've only lost around a second and a bit to Spanius over the course of the last lap. Only 1.1 seconds from what we did on the last lap. So I think we'll be gaining quite a bit more than one second a lap once we do come into the pits now. So that's exactly what we do trying to make the most of this pit entry and not too bad leaving a little bit of time on the table but not too much as now we have come out just behind the Williams which has slowed us down ever so slightly but not too much and let's see what the gap is so Spanius has already gone past and the gap isn't too too bad and we've come out into clear air as well so 22.5 is the fastest up of the race of the guy who just set it who Reyes Udin won who is also another incredibly fast driver who I've been racing with recently so the gap is now 3.3 seconds up to Olav 3.1 let's see how much time we actually gain over the course of the next uh, couple of laps and as I said, even one that fresher tyres is going to be a pretty uh, significant advantage. And also, there is one medium runner up in the lead group who should be holding these guys up as much as possible. And you can already see this first part of the lap, we've actually gained uh, four tenths on Olav. Let's see what we're going to gain for this last sector. So, taking that very well. And the gap is three point or 2.2 seconds so someone has made a bit of an error here so i'm gonna try and get within the DRS zone so the detection point is actually there uh, that corner before going on to the main straight so if it was here like this line 
then we would have been a detection point. But you can see on the minimap, it's actually quite a way before, which is a bit unfortunate because we could have had the DRS here. And you can see we set the purple last sector as well. So we gained over a second on Olev on this pretty much less than a lap itself. So what we're going to do here now is sit behind DRS nil. And we're just going to try and conserve as much as the battery as possible. And you can see, because of this medium runner in the lead group, he really is uh, holding uh, quite a few uh, people up here. As I'm making a little bit of a mistake there. But nothing too drastic. And we're just going to take our time. Try and make sure we overtake him before he gets into the dearest zone of the guys up ahead. So we're using a little bit of it now because I wanted to try and overtake him as we come onto the exit of uh, this chicane so getting a pretty nice exit here he doesn't have the DRS to play with so it's going to be a little bit of a gamble it's going down the inside so he does leave the room but not much room for error and he still maintains his position outside so good racing from him and but I don't think he will be in the Maybe he got within the DRS zone here, so we'll find out on the exit of this corner using the DRS, and he did get within the DRS zone. So we're just going to allow him to have this going down the main straight, and that's it. We does so he goes in a little bit too hot here, which means we get a much much better exit. So using the ERS and the DRS again, and we're going to go down the inside. Here's a relay move and break it super super late, and we push him off the track and. Yeah, you will see by my face uh, that that was not intentional. I just couldn't see where the brake marker board was at all. And yeah, really, really sorry to Dearest and Neil there. But you can see by the title of this video, there is a thing such as karma. And yeah, over the next three laps, you will see how that is served. And yeah, if that was a league race, I probably would have actually waited up there um, but when it's an open lobby like this I just wanted to continue just to see how much further I could have got um, into this so we're now behind the medium runner of Don Rapico Olav has a three second time penalty and you can see the pace of these fresher tyres really really is coming into effect now so trying to get a good exit of this corner he does have the DRS still of the cars up ahead, but the red light is flashing, so he will be pretty slow in a straight line. So we're going to try and get a good exit off here. Once again, the Haas just completely loses it, but we still have the DRS, and now we're going to try and catch these two leaders without using the ERS, because I wanted to try and win this race on track if I could. And with these fresher tyres, we should be able to uh, just about close in. So, so the gap is 1.3 seconds. Now it's down to 1.1. So just gain two temps alone just through that corner itself. And I absolutely love this corner. Trying to get a really good launch off here. And using the DRS to get within the uh, DRS zone. And it looks like we're just about... Um, done that itself so getting the DRS on the exit of this corner and you can see we are uh, comfortably within it as well so we're going to have the most grip out of all these cars here with two laps to go after this one and the only car I really have to overtake here is Spanius and you can see he went for quite a big undercut but now he is really suffering with his tyres which shows how much more powerful fresher tyres really really are because he had over a three second gap to us plus a three lap undercut as well so we're just going to take our time here and try and let these two play it out so we're just going to save our ERS completely for this last lap but I really need to try and overtake Spanius on this lap otherwise I'll be the third man in a DRS train and we all know how difficult that is so we're going to try and see if there's an opportunity on this app itself but as you just saw as he went into that corner his red light was flashing ever so slightly so I know he's going to be pretty limited in a straight line so it's really crucial to get a good exit coming off this corner 
using the ERS. Or no, we are not. So we're just relying on him lacking that straight line speed. And for us to get a really good exit coming off this corner. So trying to get a really good exit coming off here. He gets a bit of a poor one. And we're not even using the ERS. So not going down the inside. So we're just going to let him have this corner. Let him waste his ERS as much as possible. And now coming into Pathonsal Corner. Trying to get a really good line through here. So setting ourselves up really nicely coming through into this last corner we know he's gonna have nothing in the straight lines and now we use the ers and you can just see how much faster we are so it's gonna be a quite a comfortable overtake but he still tries to hold it around the outside so we leave him just enough room on the curb and we get that move done up into p2 and effectively all we have to do now is to stay behind uh, olaf if we want to win this race but in open lobbies, I always like to try and win on track as much as possible. It's always more satisfying to cross the line first than to see if we're a penalty as we almost lose the car here. So quite lucky that we managed to get away with that. And now we've got quite a bit of ERS to play with as well. His red light, I think, was just flashing as he went into that corner. So we'll be able to confirm as we're going down this middle straight. Does he have the ERS? So is his red light going fast? Yes, it is. So we know he's under 10% here. So all we have to do is get a good exit. So we get a fairly okay exit. Not as good as last lap. Using everything here. So do we go around the outside or the inside? So switch the inside. Going down the inside here. And... Yeah. That's what you call karma. Uh, for my little incident with DRS nil. And speaking of DRS nil coming up behind me now and as a sign of respect we're just gonna let him go because that was completely my fault and yeah a pretty entertaining race quite an intense one and yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this please let me know about the career mode hopefully you're enjoying the last portion of this game and the spanish grand prix this weekend Thank you so much for supporting the videos. Make sure you check out Bybit, link in the description. If you'd like to win the opportunity to win an F1 22 Championship Edition. Thank you so much and I will catch you very, very soon. Peace.